guys what is going on it is obadiah and we are back today on the center and uh, today i thought that we would do a little bit more building and i know i've been doing so much building but i really just want to get things together and i need to go tame more dinos but i feel like i just need to get this stuff built which is not necessarily true but it is what i want to do so that's what i'm gonna do um also if you guys do enjoy these videos do me a favor and go ahead and subscribe and of course hit that thumbs up button so I want to build a barn, a dino barn, mainly for kibble farm reasons. Uh, it just keeps it organized, and I'm thinking this is a nice flat area for it right here. I mean, look how nice and perfectly flat that is. Very unlike Ark to have an area this flat. So I'm thinking we're just going to put the back of it right here, that far until it starts to slope up, and then we're just going to turn in and have it face this way. Kind of at an angle that's like the opposite angle of the uh, castle, hopefully. Eh, more or less the opposite angle is more likely. I'm going to build it. Oh my gosh, it's, it's already getting dark. Gamma four. Okay. Well, that's too much. Gamma three. All right. That's better. So hopefully I can get a sim you know, close to the opposite angle so it looks really nice. I'm um, also going to do it in the stones, castles, and keeps mod, but I'm going to change it to be wooden, I believe. Um, also, these wooden doors, I just realized, look awful. Can I make those obsidian? Uh... I don't know about obsidian. Uh, not a ton of options. Yeah, obsidian is what we'll stick with. Let's make these obsidian, because the wood look is just not cool enough. Okay. But I want to make this barn, kibble farm structure, the wood. Make it look like the wood stuff, which looks like... Uh, 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 uh. Wood? No? No wood? I know there's a wood option. I th thought there was a wood option. Am I crazy? Is it called something else? Sandstone. Okay. Graystone. Mossy. Dark matter. Frosty. Hellfire. Obsidian. I could have swore there was a wood option, but I guess not. Huh. Maybe it was just the doors that have the wood option. Interesting. Well, I'm making out of something so it looks a little bit different than than the uh, than the castle. Different, you know, you have a little variety. I'll have to figure that out in a bit. But the first thing I need to do is go and build a absolute ton of materials. Um, I have some stuff, or a ton of uh, building things. I do have some stuff already. Obviously, I've got a crap ton of metal. Just an absolutely insane amount of metal. Um, I've got some wood. I've got stone. So I, can, I have a lot to get started, but I'm probably going to end up gathering more because I know I'm going to need it. I mean, this structure probably cost me 30 to 40,000 of each one um this should, should not be that much but it'll still take a lot so anyways i'm gonna go start gathering stuff up um get stuff ready to build and then i'll bring you guys back all right so i gathered up some materials and i've got some stuff crafting but i'll start with these 44 foundations that i have kind of to lay down well the foundation of the deal so i want to be on this flat area I want to go pretty close to the edge, and I would really like it to be the opposite angle of the castle. And those three things are kind of a lot. So I'm thinking right here, I'll start and place the first foundation. It's so hard. So let's try this. So let's try to get it. First, let's line it up with the edge that might make a little more sense than trying to do the opposite all right what would that look like against the castle if there was a structure going this direction how would that look uh it's not exactly opposite but that does line up really well with the edge of the cliff come on back up <laughs> I don't know. I think I think it's going to make more sense to line it up with the edge of the cliff. Uh, and that's not, which is not quite that. Let's do uh, like that, maybe. Ooh, don't fall off the edge. We kind of get like way closer. Okay. Oh, too close. All right. So that doesn't line up with that line, but I think that lines up pretty good with the back of the cliff. It's so hard to judge because I mean, obviously the cliff's not a straight line. You know what I mean? Okay, I think we'll try that and put it out a little bit. 
Yeah, it still doesn't feel quite right. I say we're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna go for it, hope for the best. Okay, now what kind of look do we want for the barn? The mossy look, maybe? I think that'd look pretty cool for a kibble farm. Uh, let's see. Dark matter, frost. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with the mossy look. Because we need a little variety, you know? Okay, so it's one, two, three on that side. And so it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm thinking eight wide is the right amount. That was eight, right? Yeah, because I had 44. And this is gonna be a very simple structure, very square. So let's go two, three, four. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh no, we're running into problem. Big, big problem, big problem, we're going in the ground. Let's try this side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, kind of going to the ground. Oh, we're gonna get nine out. Ah, uh, uh, why, why is there just that slight incline? It is so close to being so flat. Okay, what I'm gonna do is pick it all up and start from a little bit higher of a spot, like maybe where this guy is. So let's, uh, and then I'm gonna replace everything and then I'll bring y'all back. All right, so I went ahead and got the foundation filled in and built up a bunch of new stuff. Um, I think in the front, I wanna go with the portcullises. I haven't really used them yet. So I decided to go with the keep gates there and the behemoth gates there. So I believe they're three wide. Let's do one there. And then one. Plus, using these things makes us have to use so many less walls. Is that right? And one there? Yes. And then I went with the see-through gates because it's just a barn. And yeah, maybe it's not the most barn-like thing in the world. You know, oh, I have to power it with a powder keg, which I have right here, which will snap. Oh, it'll kind of snap to the wall. That's cool. And weird and unnecessary, but... Huh, okay, let's just kind of line it up. Uh, where's a nice line I can use? Right there. Line it up real good. Right in the center. And then right there. And then activate. And now things are powered, right? Powered, elevate. Oh, dang. And come on back down. Come on back down. So it's not very fast. So I figured just, that's why I like using it for this, because that's not really, really necessary, you know? I mean, it looks cool, and I like that I can see through it. Um, it's just kind of a neat thing. So I also made a bunch of walls and some uh, window frames, going with a much simpler look on this one. We're gonna go, bam, oh, we wanna change this to mossy. Mossy, mossy, mossy. Nice, and this to, is there a wood option? Is it already on the wood option? What is, oh, D levate, is that open? Let's go wood. Okay, so it's already on the wood option. So we can make both these mossy, because we give that old building look. Yeah, that's cool. It's kind of a bummer that I have to kind of go through and do this to each individual piece. I wish there was a way that I could do it uh, all at once or something. I don't even know if that's possible. Um, and I can't complain too much, because there's already a lot of really cool options in this mod, so I can't really, like, moan about every little thing, you know? All right, let's place a bunch, and then we'll come back and do it. Do I just want just that front entrance, or I want, like, another side entrance, or what? I think I want just the front entrance, just make it a really simple building, you know? I don't really see someone coming and raiding this. We have a rule on the server where you can't kill passive dinos, and, uh... Essentially, if you if dinos are just sitting there, you can't just sit there and attack them until they're all dead. And this is definitely going to be a building of entirely passive dinos. We're definitely going to need a lot more of these. Um, should I add something to the back? Like a big old window or something? No. No. Just make it as simple as possible. The last one was complicated. This one's simple. And what's ridiculous is we haven't even finished the last one yet. Um... There's all sorts of stuff I still want to do with, like, the main room. And I need to add lights still and run a little more electrical. I gotta build the kitchen. There's just so much to do. But nonetheless, I'm gonna go ahead and keep on working on this. And I'll bring you guys back when something gets done. 
All right, all right, so we have got the ceiling set up, just a, just a flat ceiling on top, but of course we're not gonna leave it like that. So, <clears throat> what we wanna do is I built these sloped roofs. Uh, maybe I wanna go up one first, like so, and then slope in maybe? Nope, nope, which one is it? This one, like so, and then do one of these and one of those. Yeah, and just kind of let it slope in. How would that look? Let's let's take a let's take a gander, kind of get an idea of how tall that would be. Yeah, I think that'd be a pretty good height, just like that. That should be enough that we could fit a quetzal in there if we so desire. Oh, actually, you know what? I think it has to be higher for what we're planning. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and build up a bunch of these pieces, and then uh, get it built up. So what I want to do is go higher. Okay, let's just try it. Let's try it over. Let's try it in front. Let's see. So I want a nice big opening. So I want it to be like... So... Wait, how many wide is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this would be 4 wide. Like that. And then... How the heck do I want to do this? We'll go up. Like so. Okay, that's clearly too big. Oh, I can't reach that now, can I? Crap. I'm gonna have to go build like a something. Oh, it's too tall. Okay. Because I can't get my mammoth up here. Normally that's what I've been using is my mammoth. Um, okay, I can just break it. How the heck did I do this in the past? Maybe I did the bottom sloped? I don't remember. I'm gonna have to look at how I did this before because I don't even remember now. Aha, it was like this. Yes. And then like this and like this. That is a little bit not ideal. I don't know if I'm happy with that at all. Can a quetz fit through here, you think? Ugh, it's ugly. All right, well, I'm gonna have to figure some of this stuff out, build a ton of stuff, and uh, get some stuff placed, and then I'll bring y'all back. All right, guys, so we have finished the barn for the most part. Check it out. It is absolutely massive, and we got a really cool area where you can fly. F oh, and we're, we're stuck. We're frozen. Are we gonna unfreeze? There we go. We can fly flyers in here, and it should be big enough for our quets when those gates are down. Um, so we've got ladders going to both levels, a trough on each level, and uh, I don't know, I think it looks pretty good. I think it turned out pretty awesome. So I want to move dinos in there, but for the little tiny dinos, the dodos and listros and dillos, things that you can't uh, uh, ride, things you can't put a saddle on and ride, I don't think those need to go in there. They're really little. I think we just need some pens. So, let's see. Oh, wow. Oh, so I made these, oh, there we go. So I made these uh, fence foundation things. Not really sure, oh, they won't snap to this? What the heck? Not really sure how, what they are, but they're supposed to make it so my foundations stay level. I'm not a big fan of them not snapping to the castles, keeps, and forge. This is an S plus thing. Let's just try it like that, I guess. Okay. Huh. So then will it snap to itself? Yeah. So the benefit, what this is supposed to do is make it so that I don't have to worry about the height of things. It's called a stone fence support. Interesting. Maybe I have to lay down the founda fence foundation first. Okay, let's lay it down a foundation. Just like that. And then there's a snap on it? Is that what it does? I am so confused by what this does. Okay. 
I mean, I want it to be too high anyways. But how do these things even work? Because it would be cool to keep it all even. So let's pick this guy up. And then throw this guy there. If we can get it to snap the direction we want. So I guess hitting G cycles through all of the... Okay, straight snaps enabled. Oh, alright, that's nice. So now it should be the same height. Okay, that's kind of cool. So we'll go three out. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and keep playing with this and get it going, and then I'll bring y'all back. All right, guys, so we have gone ahead and made some railings and then threw in our uh, little dinos into these pens. We got the Dodo pen, we got the Dilo pen, we got an empty one, and we got the Listros. I don't know what I'm putting in here. Maybe compies? I don't know. We'll figure that out later. But uh, nonetheless, so with these little, with these uh, fence foundation support things, stone fence supports from Structures Plus, lets me build everything evenly, which I do like. I think it looks good but does leave some gaps and stuff, which I'm not a huge fan of, but nonetheless, it's cool. And all these guys can reach the trough, I already checked, and I went ahead and moved the collector and the thatch thing and the fertilizer and the silo and everything in here and turned it on. I gave it its own generator and put some gas in there. Don't know if I'm gonna keep it that way or not, but it's kind of a temporary thing. I think maybe in the next episode or so, we're gonna build up a greenhouse and a, uh, whatchamacallit, maybe a little shack and whatnot it has a pretty big i think it's supposed to be 75 foundations radius to collect so shouldn't be a problem and it's been collecting like a champ um so it's got tons of dodo eggs dillo lystro terror birds oh, and I, I picked up one titan boa that wasn't that didn't collect it itself i'm just storing it in there because uh it also gives them like a, a year over a year before they expire which is great um, but anyways guys for today i do think that is gonna be it uh, if you did enjoy the video or if you learned something, go ahead and do me a favor and give me a thumbs up. And of course, always feel free to subscribe. You can also hit me up on all the social medias, your Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, even Google+. Um, but anyways, oh, also, I have a Patreon if you want to check that out, patreon.com slash ObadiahX. Um, but for today, guys, I really do appreciate you coming to hang out with me, um, and I will see you again next time.